I wanted to talk a little bit about some drawing warm-up exercises. Um, so before you start a session, I think it's good to just kind of reconnect with your um, your hand and your mind and kind of just get going before you invest time in, in doing anything sort of serious. So these are kind of some low effort things that I like to do. First, I like to revisit how I hold the pencil. I don't necessarily want to do the tripod grip because it's pretty anti-ergonomic. I like to draw a lot of times. Um, sort of with this caveman grip, this is what it kind of looks like. And most of the pressure is going here. And I kind of drag my knuckles around. Um, so I like to start with very basic stuff like line. You know, draw, draw a line and then I like to maybe make the line fall in time and maybe bounce and come to rest. And then sometimes I like to make the, the line sort of start to become S-curved and, and move a little bit. And so I'll go across the page just kind of reconnecting and creating some elegant lines. And then maybe do some curves, make the curves kind of do something. Think about it in sort of a motion and animation kind of sense. Um, and I also don't want to, you know, use the tip too much. I like to use the, the side of the pencil um, or charcoal or whatever you're using. Um, it doesn't really matter. And you can do this with pen too. No big deal. Um, the next thing I like to do is just recon reconnect with some shapes, right? Just draw some, draw a couple boxes, right, of different sizes. Um, draw Maybe draw a couple triangles, equilateral, some funky ones. Um, maybe draw a couple of circles, make some attempts at perfect circles draw them different sizes, um, then maybe like just play around with some some forms, like draw boxes, right? Just think of like, how can I draw boxes really simply? I could make boxes that kind of um, expand and contract and have sort of funky sides and, and things like that. Um, maybe draw some prismatic forms um, or maybe even some some pyramidal forms, right? go from there um, and then draw take these circles and make them make them into spheres right uh, potentially draw a cylinder here and there maybe make a cylinder that's kind of a little bit funky shaped and think about just how I can take these shapes and transform them into into form so go from 2d into 3d right then um, Another thing that you can do is practice ellipses. And I do this all the time. I've filled probably hundreds of pages full of ellipses. And what I like to do is draw two parallel lines down up the page or part of the page. And the way this works is you go from uh, circle to flat and back. So you start with the circle and then you go more and more elliptical as you go down until you go nearly flat and then you expand bigger and you do it quick because you're not trying to do this perfect every time you're just trying to you're just trying to warm up and you can do that a couple of times right maybe make them different distances the goal with this is to hit either side every time you do an ellipse right and so you're just getting in touch with the feel of drawing ellipses and, and this idea of a circle sort of turning in space um you know so the, you remember your ideal ellipse is, is that it's symmetrical in all four quadrants. It has a, a horizontal and a vertical axis, and it's symmetrical in all four quadrants. And, um, you know, we're not going for perfection here because we're just warming up. Um, other things you can do um, are kind of draw a line and practice as if this were the axis of a sphere and just practice putting hemispheres around that sphere and what that might look like. Um, you can also basically take a line, make some tick marks on the line, and then you can practice connecting lines that go through, that feel like they go through space and reconnect um, and hit all these points, right? So um, that's another fun warm-up exercise. Um, and beyond that, anything that you can think of. Another thing that I like to do is just um, 
reconnect with how soft I can draw and how um, how hard I can draw. So I want to just do this feather touch where I'm going to draw any shape. I'll do a circle and just hover over for a little bit and then touch down. And then I'll try to see if I can go a little softer and create the most faint circle possible. So it's like I'm touching the touching with a feather and then go back from that feather touch and then increase pressure each time and try to get to where I'm at full pressure, right? So I can reconnect with how dark can I make the initial line that I'm working with? Um, and there's more warm up exercises, but I like to do these just as a quick thing before um, before I start. You, you know, you can spend more time on any one of these. Like you might fill up a whole page with ellipses. You might do um, more work with forms. For instance, you might do like um, combination like sphere forms where you start to do these like um, snowman things or you do like these these um, overlapping bean forms and start to think about how you could make forms connect to each other. You could take box forms and connect them to spheres and play with that idea. Um, and, um, and do a little bit more work with that. So this is just an example of, of a quick warm-up you could do. You might spend 15 minutes at it, though. 